Okay, the opposition's coming at us saying that we're picking winners and losers. Not so. We're not picking winners and losers. We're picking America to win, OPEC to lose. Now, the, and you're also picking national security over terrorism. This is, this is extremely serious that we do what we're trying to accomplish here. But national security it is absolutely stupid that we buy oil from the enemy. I mean, we're going to go down in history as the dumbest crowd that ever came to town because we are buying oil from the people that are actually trying to kill us. Two-thirds of our trade deficit for it is the purchase of foreign oil, and half of that we purchase from the enemy. So it's, it's uh, fiscally irresponsible for us to continue to do this because it's, all we're doing is damaging our country. So you'll see them, they're coming out, and they're saying, they're running these ads and all, and they're saying that I am wanting subsidies uh, for natural gas. All we want is five years and out. That's it. We don't need over five years, and the, the whole thing will be started going, and it will be successful in five years. So it's $1 billion a year for five years. We spend $1.5 billion every day for foreign oil, and I want five, uh, $5 billion, $1 billion a year for natural gas trucks over uh, foreign diesel oil. So what I want to do is to get, as they buy new natural gas trucks, they get a tax credit. That's a tax credit. It's not a grant. We don't hand out any money to anybody, but it's a tax credit, and it's only for five years to do that. In five years, if we are successful, we will have half the job done, and it takes seven years to get the other half of it done, but that will reduce foreign oil, OPEC, it'll cut them in half. We buy five million barrels a day from them, we will cut them down to two and a half million barrels. But you will send the message that we, you, me, and other Americans, we are working on our problem. We will solve our problem together. We can do this. Now respond and help me every time I want you to get those emails, faxes, or whatever else in, to get in communication. We've already heard back from some of these uh, congressmen, and uh, it, it's, it's kind of amusing to see those that do not have a plan, but they don't criticize ours. They don't have a plan. They just give you a form letter back, just right across the front of it. Quit sending me a form letter. Answer my mail. These congressmen owe you an answer and make them answer you, but and te make them tell you why they don't want H.R. 1380. Okay, Army, we're together. We will win. Thank you.